Okay, I've been asked to make videos for things. I don't know how well this is going to turn out, but here's an attempt at making a video to help go along with the notes on Morley's theorem. Okay, first of all, it's, we're talking about a triangle. You have a triangle ABC, and what we're going to do is we're going to trisect each of the three angles. Trisect is to divide them into three equal parts. There's a long little rant here about how it's been proven to be impossible to trisect in general with a compass and straight edge, but still you could measure the angle as 50 degrees and then each one is 16 and two thirds degrees. You can do it with a protractor or something like that. The theorem says that if you trisect B and trisect A and trisect C, where these points meet, P, Q, R, will be an equilateral triangle even if the outside triangle is not an equilateral triangle. In fact, no matter what the triangle is going to be, it's always going to be an equilateral triangle inside there, which is very curious and fun, and that's why I decided to give this to you. Um, there is a theorem that we're going to use, a, a lemma that we're going to use, and I kind of misstated it here, um, which is to say that uh, I say that if we, t if we bisect B and bisect C, um, then um, this angle is going to be, uh, where they meet, is going to be 90 degrees plus half of A. Um, the the re real requirement is actually that um, the point has to be, you bisect B, you bisect C, you bisect A, um, it has to be it has to be on this line. What we're going to say is we're going to say if a point is on this line which bisects angle A, si angle A then um, this point on this line will be the bisector of B and also of C if it happens to be half of A plus 90 degrees. So half of A we're going to call X and X and half of B we're going to call Y and Y and half of Z we're going to call C and C we're going to call Z and Z now, this is a, a triangle, and we extend it out. An exterior angle on the triangle is going to be x plus y, and then the same thing for this triangle is going to be x plus z. And um, this is going to be x plus y plus z plus another x. Now, because 2x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 180 degrees, the full circle. That means that x plus y plus z is 90 degrees, and so this is 90 degrees plus x. So now we know that if we bisect A, the point on it that is equal to 90 degrees plus half of the measure of A will also bisect B and C. That's the lemma that we're going to use repeatedly on this. So. The trick is we do not begin by taking a triangle, trisecting all the three ang angles, and then finding out where they meet. Instead, what we do is we work backwards. We start with an equilateral triangle. Okay, yappy dog, hopefully quelled. The challenge, what we're going to do is we work backwards. We start with an equilateral triangle, PQR. I don't indicate that it's equilateral, but it is. These are, it's an equilateral triangle. And we add on all three of the sides isosceles triangles. Um, a, a, an isosceles triangle, P prime QR, where these two angles are A, and PQR prime, where these two angles are C, and PRQ prime, where these two angles are B. Um, we have to choose A, B, and C carefully. They have to add up to 120 degrees, and none of them can be more than 60 degrees. Um, they're adjustable, and what we can do is we can adjust them to make any triangle whatsoever, and that's how we're going to prove the theorem. Okay, the cool thing is, is that because A plus B plus A plus B plus C is 120 degrees, um, it means that if we extend this line out, that um, this is 60 degrees, and then A plus B plus C is 120. Now that makes 180 degrees to make a right triangle. That means that this angle is B. And similarly, if we extend this line out, this is 60 degrees. A, B, C makes the 120. So we do that, and we get all these angles around here. Now, because A plus B plus C is 120 degrees, and A is less than 60 degrees, that means that this angle plus this angle is less than 180 degrees. That means these will eventually meet, and they form these little triangles. Furthermore, 
Furthermore, um, we know that A plus B plus C is 120 degrees, so this A and whatever this angle is have to add up to the remaining 60, so if that's A, that's 60 minus A, and then similarly, um, this is A plus B plus C plus another C, so that's 60 minus C, and this is A plus B plus C um, plus another B, so this has to be 60 minus B. Now, here's where that lemma comes in. Now, obviously, this line is divides this angle into two equal parts. Why? Well, because it's this is an equilateral triangle and this is an isosceles triangle, we could just reflect across this line and it will be the same, right? Isosceles triangle is vertical, is, is, is um, well, these two angles are the same. Um, it's symmetric, an isosceles triangle is symmetric, equilateral triangle is symmetric. So as long as this angle is 90 degrees plus half of this thing, if this is 90 degrees plus, well, half of this thing is, well, what is that angle? This angle is, it's got, this is, this triangle has two angles of A, so it's 180 degrees minus 2A. So if this is 90 degrees plus half of that, which is 90 plus, minus A, then if I connect this, this will be the in-center, the place where the three bisectors meet. And how do we do this? How do we do this? Ah, we go all the way around this circle, and we see we've got an A plus B plus C, that's 120 degrees, plus 60, that's 180 degrees. Ah, well, this looks like a straight line. This is a straight line. Duh. There you go. A plus this thing has to add up to 180 degrees. So this is 180 degrees minus A. That is 90 plus half of that thing. This point is the midpoint. Uh, this is the in center. So that means that these two angles are the same and these two angles are the same. And we already knew that those two angles are the same. Now, the exact same reasoning works over here for this triangle, this is the in center of there, so that these two angles are the same, and these two angles are the same. And if I connect over here, I don't have enough room for it, then these two angles are the same. I know it doesn't look like it the way I drew it, and this, which is to say that this triangle has ABC has this trisects this angle, and this trisects this angle, and this trisects this angle. And again, I'm not going to go through the whole thing in this little blurb, but you can adjust the A, the B, and the C to get this triangle to be anything you want. Now, this angle to be anything you want, and this angle and this, provided that they're all going to add up to 180 degrees. So hopefully that helps explain the notes.